Nadim Essen is one of nine million people in Pakistan who have some form of hearing loss. Of these, there are over one million deaf children of school age in the country, yet less than 5% attend school. The deaf should be viewed as a distinct cultural group that communicates in its native language, which is sign language. Education is the key to empowerment for this presently marginalized and underserved community. Deaf Reach schools provide free education and skills training for deaf children, offering them the opportunity of a transformational education. The campuses, located in Karachi, Hyderabad, Nawabshah, Sakkar, Lahore, and Tando Alayar, comprise the only branch network of schools for the deaf in both urban and rural areas. Daily transport is provided to each student up to a radius of 40 kilometers. The schools focus on a holistic learning approach for the deaf, providing an enabling environment where students can excel. Students ultimately become fluent in three languages, sign language, Urdu, and English. Technology is used extensively to reinforce visual learning, with all mastering IT skills from an early age. In addition to academics, each student is trained in a variety of marketable skills, ranging from sewing, embroidery, culinary arts, pottery, arts and crafts, and product creation. To date, over 5,000 deaf students have passed through the Deaf Reach program. Due to a lack of teacher training programs in the country, DefReach identifies high-achieving students, developing them to pursue a teaching career in deaf education, with many growing into positions of leadership. Today, over 50% of DefReach teaching staff and management are deaf. All parents and family members are provided transport to attend bi-weekly sign language and literacy classes, enabling them to be active participants in their child's development as well as improve their own literacy skills. Working closely with the corporate sector, DefReach delivers a full circle solution for young deaf adults by providing training in marketable skills and assisting in the employment process resulting in more than 600 jobs over the past few years alone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nazreen Ibrahim Jamali aapke khidmat mein hazir hai aur program hai Charity Talk. Aap ne dekha mukhtalif charities jo hain wo Islam Channel Urdu ke platform ke upar aati bhi hain aur hum unke jo kaam hain unko highlight karte hain. Charities kis tarike se perform kar rahi hain aur kis tarike se kin kin projects ko wo پبلک uh, عوام الناس کے لیے مفید جو پروجیکٹس ہیں وہ ڈیلیور کرتی ہیں کس طریقے سے آپ کی جو ڈونیشنز ہیں وہ لوگوں کے چہروں کے اوپر خوشی لے کے آتی ہیں اور کس طریقے سے لوگوں کی زندگیاں تبدیل ہوتی ہیں ایک پہلو تو چیریٹی کا یہ ہے اور دوسرا پہلو یہ کہ جس طریقے سے آپ اپنی ڈونیشن کے ذریعے سے ایک ایک بہت بڑا کام کر رہے ہوتے ہیں اس طریقے سے دنیا میں بہت سارے لوگ ایسے موجود ہیں کہ جنہوں نے اپنی زندگیوں کو کسی مشن کے اوپر وقف کر رکھا ہے اور ان کی جو پوری لائف ہے وہ لائف ایک ایوارڈ ہے ایک وہ لائف ایک اچیومنٹ ہے اور ایک اس طریقے کا مشن کے اپنی زندگی کو کسی ایک پرٹیکولر پروجیکٹ ایک کام کے اوپر کسی ایک شمع جلانے کی خاطر اپنے آپ کو مخصوص کر دینا اور اس کو کسی ایک ایسے خطے کہ جو اس فرد کے لیے اجنبی ہو وہ ایک اور ایک اور دوسری جو اسٹوری ہے ایک اور دوسرا جو سائڈ ہے وہ بھی آج انشاءاللہ میں آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرنے کے لیے جاؤں گا اور میرے ساتھ آج جو مہمان ہیں وہ بہت ایک منفرد شخصیت ہیں اور وہ منفرد اس طریقے سے کہ آپ نے دیکھا کہ ہم ہم یہاں اس کنٹری کے اندر موجود ہیں اور پاکستان سے ہمارا تعلق تھا یا ہندوستان سے یا بنگلہ دیش سے اور مختلف فائنینشیل ریزنس کی بیسس کے اوپر یا کوئی اور ریزنس تھی اسٹڈی کے لیے کوئی ہیلتھ کے لیے یہاں آیا اور اس نے اپنا مسکن اپنا گھر یہیں بنا لیا اور سالہ سال یہاں جو ہے وہ گزارے اور اس کے بعد مختلف طریقے سے سوسائٹی کے اندر پارٹیسپیٹ کیا مگر بہت سارے لوگ ایسے ہیں کہ جو یہاں اس انوائرمنٹ سے اس ان یورپین کنٹریز سے دنیا کے مختلف علاقوں کے اندر گئے 
और वेलफेयर के रिलीफ के कोई सोशल चेंजेस के कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स जो हैं वो उन्होंने इख्तियार किए उन्होंने एडॉप्ट किए इन्वेंट किए और उसके अंदर इस तरीके से डेडिकेट किया कि अपनी लाइफ जो है वो उन्होंने उस एक एक्सेलेंस हासिल करने के लिए लोगों की ज़िंदगी को चेंज करने के लिए मखसूस कर दी मेरी मुराद आज उसी तरीके के एक फ़र्द से है रिचर्ड गेरी इनका नाम है और वो यहाँ मेरे साथ स्टूडियो के अंदर मौजूद हैं सबसे पहले मैं उनको वेलकम करता हूँ वेलकम असल वालेकुम सलाम कैसे so हैं आप ठीक हैं बहुत ठीक हूँ शुक्रिया ठीक है अच्छा एक ये यूनिक पॉइंट एक और ये होगा कि रिचर्ड हमारे मेहमान हैं वो खुद थोड़ा सा एक तफसली तारुफ जो है वो अपना करवाएंगे तीस साल से ज़्यादा ना जी तीस साल से ज़्यादा तकरीबन इन्होंने पाकिस्तान के अंदर गुजारे हैं कैसे गुजारे इसके ऊपर हम बातचीत करेंगे और रिचर्ड माशा उर्दू पंजाबी सिंधी समझते हैं और बोलने में मैं बिल्कुल इनको किसी भी तरीके से फोर्स नहीं करूँगा कि वो उर्दू बोलें वो इंग्लिश बोलना चाहें उर्दू बोलना चाहें जो लैंग्वेज वो आज हमारे मेहमान हैं इस्लाम चैनल उर्दू के मेहमान हैं तो इसलिए रिचर्ड ये जो तीस साल की जो कहानी है जी हाँ दिस 30 इयर्स स्टोरी काफी टाइम लगे काफी टाइम इसको स्टार्ट कहां से करेंगे कब व्हेन व्हेन डिड यू थिंक एंड पाकिस्तान इज अ इज नॉट अ हॉलिडे प्लेस नो 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 लेकिन यू नो पाकिस्तानीज आर वेरी वार्म वेरी हॉस्पिटेबल आई हैव लिव्ड देयर फॉर 30 इयर्स एंड इट्स माय होम बिकॉज़ ऑफ द वर्क वी आर डूइंग आह Licking this story goes back mm. quite some time. Yeah, me English poor. जी जी क्योंकि अगर उर्दू वो थोड़ा सा time लगे उर्दू मेरे याद ही नहीं है नहीं नहीं उर्दू बहुत अच्छी है मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ उर्दू इंग्लिश आप mix करें जी my wife who is from the Philippines her name is Heidi we're parents of a deaf son our son was deaf and actually we were working. First, I, I was involved in working in social development work, mm. and my wife and I received an invitation to go to India mm. uh, because there was a team of people there working with deaf young adults, and they mm. wanted us mm. to come help. Mm. So we said, "Chalo, let's go." Mm. Um, this was uh, in the mid 1980s. In the mid okay. 80s, okay. So we lived. I lived in many parts of India, mainly though I was in Gujarat in okay. Ahmedabad. Okay. Ji, ji. Uh, and I was all over. I, I visited every school in mm. Gujarat. You know, Navsari, Baroda, Palanpur, mm. Ahmedabad. I was. Mm. Then we shifted our work to Delhi, mm. um, and we started these vocational clubs for deaf teenagers, where Jee. they could come together. They mm. wanted to learn English. Mm. We would help them find jobs. Mm. Uh, one thing led to another, and we went to Karachi. Jee. At that time, we just took the train down. Mm. Uh, And to help on a small project there, mm. a friend of ours. And at that time, because of a businessman uh, who we knew also was interested in deaf education, he saw we had a deaf child, mm. and he said, "Look, I want to give you some office space." This was in Sadar, Regal Cinema Chowk. Ji, Sadar, Karachi. Ji, built mm. right in the heart of Sadar, up on Jee. the fifth floor. Mm. The lift didn't work. The <laughs> stairs were pond stained. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but. <laughs> So he he donated an office space, which is probably the size of your studio, mm. not very big, mm. and we had a program there for young deaf teenagers. Fifteen or twenty teenagers were mm. coming. We were mm. teaching them, helping them to find employment. Then one day, a family came to us from Baldia Town. You know, Baldia, Baldia Town is yeah, a kachia yeah, yeah. Baldia. Yeah, area, yeah, 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 yeah. And they said, "Sir, Mirbani, wo." We have ten, twelve deaf children in our neighborhood. We don't know what to do. Please, you mm. teach them. Mm. I said, "Chalo, bring them." Mm. He said, "Oh, sir, Mirbani, you know transportation nee hai." Mm. I said, "Fine, I'll find some." So I found a donor. He mm. donated some money. We we got a, a small Ravi pickup van, mm. Mm. and we were bringing these children every day. Mm. They were five, six, seven years mm. old. From Baldia town From to Southern. From Baldia Sadar. town to Southern. Shabash. And this was the start, mm. if you will. Mm. We called our program Deaf Reach because we were mm. reaching out to deaf mm. children. No, I didn't have any teacher. It was my wife and myself, mm. and there was this one bright young student of mine. He, he was a young adult. He was deaf, mm. and his name was Ali. Mm. So I hired him as my first teacher. Say. So from those very small beginnings, mm. we the, all of a sudden we getting more and more requests, and w we didn't have any more. Room, mm, it was very mm, tongue, mm, you know. Mm. 
So another f donor supplied us a space in nursery, and mm. this project grew to where we had about 75 children. Mm. So this was now getting a little mm. bigger. And we had to hire some more teachers, and we had to mm. train those teachers because there's no trained teachers for the deaf in Pakistan. Mm. Now keep in mind, if you talk about the whole of Pakistan, you know there's over 200 million people. Yeah. It's the fifth largest country in the world. Mm. There's more than two million people who are deaf. In Pakistan? In Pakistan. Okay. And if half of them are children, mm. the upper niche one million children, mm. mm. 1.25 million children who are deaf. Not even 5% of those children have access to education. To education. You see, because there's just Many not an awareness. और रूरल एरियाज में विलेजेस के अंदर हैं जो उनको एक्सेस नहीं अच्छा ये जो आपने जो पहला एक जो क्लास शुरू की वो कितने चार छह बच्चे थे फोर फाइव सिक्स ऐसे ही अब अब टू टेन चिल्ड्रन थे वो उससे और सेवेंटी फाइव चिल्ड्रन तक आने में कितना टाइम लगा दिस वाज व्हेन वी वेंट फ्रॉम दिस वन प्ल you know, the grapevine, the word went around in the community. Mm. So then we found a school mm. building in Gulistani Johar. Mm. This was sitting empty. Mm. Yeah, a ghost school. Ji. Right? Mm. You know, they have these. Ji. Government ke schools. Hai. Government mm. school, mm. they can log kuch mm. nahi, mm. teachers nahi. Mm. So we went and met with some people from Sindh government and we made an MOU and they gave mm. us this on a rent free basis. Say. Yeah, our responsibility was to fix up, renovate, mm. set up. Mm. And now for the last almost 10 years, we are in that school. Say. And we have 200 deaf children now. Who's in building in Who's building in Kandahar? Mm. Ah, GG. Mm. Well, KG starting, mm. Mm. actually pre KG, three and a half years old. Mm. And they go up to the eighth and ninth grade, mm. uh, ninth and tenth grade metric. Mm. Mm. And two years ago, we started a college program. Mm. And this coming year in January, we're starting a BA program in partnership with Karachi University for deaf. Sub ye deaf, deaf, bache bache hain, jo ladke ladki hain, sub deaf hain. Gigi, and, but so this is Karachi. Like in, mm. in, the, in those years building up to, mm. you know, having these 200 children there, we also then got requests from the deaf community mm. in Hyderabad. Mm and in Nawab Shah, mm. and, you know, because we were based in Sin, in so this Sin. kind mm. of mm. grew organically. Because mm. there's these one million children licking educational facilities, mm. Mm. and all the schools for the deaf are only in the, you know, Karachi, Islamabad, Lahore. Say. But 75% of Pakistan lives in the rural mm. areas. Yes, absolutely. They mm. can't bring mm. their children. Mm. And even then, some of those schools won't allow these children. This is why we took Today, we have 75 children from Baldia town we are bringing every day say, to our school. Say. Because the other schools wouldn't take them. Mm. So, then we opened we, uh, a school in Hyderabad, say. Kasimabad. Second school. Tha GG. Mm. And then, it, and this was all done through finding a donor who was willing to provide the mm. funds to set it up, right? Mm. Then we opened a school in Sakkar after the floods in 2010. In 10. Mm. You know, in Sakkar, we started, we had 25 children from Sakkar. Within one year, we had 100 children. Mm. Within two years, we had over 200 children. And we are providing pick and drop transport for mm. every child in each of our schools mm. up to 40 kilometers. Say. So in Sakkar, we are taking children from Kherpur, Shikarpur, mm. Panawakil, mm. Pirjogo, Piarlo, mm. all sub Say. And Nawab Shah the same. Mm. Tandolar, and we so opened a small school in Lahore. The people who are in the villages, they are all the children who are in the village. As long as they are within an hour and a half hmm. or so, we will pick them. Okay, these 30 years that you have gone through here in Pakistan. In these 30 years, how many times do you have come to your mind? How many times do you have thought that uh, <laughs> the time is difficult and uh, because Pakistan has gone through several G -G -G. different stages. And I've been through everyone. You know, I didn't leave. <laughs> I was through the Gulf War. I uh, was through the Benazir's assassination uh, and 9-11. Oh, I just put on Shawar Kameez and told everybody I was Patan. 
نہیں تو آپ نے کبھی یہ سوچا کہ پاکستان سے واپس جانا چاہیے کبھی کبھی ایسا ہوا کتنی مرتبہ ایسا ہوا ہوگا I'm sorry, کیا بتا ہاؤ مینی ٹائمس یو ہیو تھاٹ دیٹ گو بیک مینی اینڈ اٹس ویری ڈیفیکلٹ ہیئر مینی ٹائمس اسپیشلی وین اٹس دا مڈل آف دا ہاٹ سیزن اینڈ دیر از نو بجلی اینڈ دیر از نو واٹر اینڈ بٹ یو نو ویئر آٹ وی ہیو دس وی ویری پیشنیٹ اباؤٹ وٹ وی آر ڈوئنگ وی آر چینجنگ پیپلز لائف اینڈ یو نو مائی وائف اینڈ آئی آر ویری کمیٹیڈ دس از آر فل ٹائم لائف ورک So I think when you have that as your goal, you're willing to endure some difficulties and hardships. Mm. And I mean, it doesn't matter where you live, there's challenges, mm. you know. Mm. And Pakistan has more challenges than most places though, I would say. 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 But I have to say, mm. and uh, both in India and Pakistan, because I live both places, but people are very warm, very kind, mm. and everybody's so worried about, oh, don't you feel threatened? What mm. about your security? Ji. I'm a Gora. Hmm. I go to all these places. Hmm. I go to Nawabsha, I go to Sakkar, I walk in Karachi. I don't have security. Hmm. I've never been bothered one time. I'm, I, you have to be smart. You don't go in the middle yeah, of yeah, a yeah, 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 heart yeah, or something. Yeah. But, you know, uh. um, I, I just think people always say to me, oh, but, and I, you know, especially here in the UK, this is my first time coming to hmm. UK. Hmm. I'm originally from USA, you can hmm. tell. But people always say, oh, I, I watched the television and... It looks so bad and there's so much happening. It's, aren't you afraid? And I said, look, there's also good things in Pakistan. You just need to get a bigger TV. Nazreen, sometimes it happens that we are going to go to Pakistan, we feel a frightened feel, a threatened feel. Even if we have been born and brought up, we have a whole generation that is inherited. But this is the way that people who are کہ جنہوں نے اپنی زندگی ایک کوس کے لیے ایک مطلب ایک کوس سے پیشنیٹ ہو گئے اور اس سے اس قدر کمیٹڈ ہوئے کہ وہ انہوں نے کیونکہ جب ایک لائف چینجنگ ایک پروسیس آپ دیکھ رہے ہوتے ہیں نا کسی کی زندگی کے اندر چینج آ رہی ہے اور وہ چینج پھر جنریشن کے اندر منتقل ہو رہی ہوتی ہے تو وہ جو فیلنگ ہوتی ہے وہ جو انر سیٹسفیکشن ہوتی ہے میرے خیال ہے وہ بہت سارا انسان کو کمپرومائز کرنے کے لیے جو ہے نا وہ گنجائش جو ہے وہ فراہم کرتی ہے رچرڈ ڈیف چلڈرن جو ہے ان کے ساتھ کام کرنا اور خاص طور پر ان کنٹریز کے اندر یہاں یو کے میں تو اسپیشل نیڈس کے ہر اسکول کے اندر جو ہے وہ فیسلٹی موجود ہوتی ہے اسپیشل ٹیچرز جو ہیں وہ ٹرینڈ ٹیچر ہوتے ہیں اور ایک کلاس روم کا ایک سائز ہے تھرٹی چلڈرن کے اوپر جو ہے نا دو ٹیچرز ہیں وہ تو واٹ وار دا مین فسٹ چیلنج ٹو اسٹارٹ یور ورک کیونکہ ان پاکستان اینڈ یو سیٹ ایگزیکٹلی ہیئر ان یو کے اور دا ڈیولپڈ ورلڈ ایوری ڈیف چائلڈ ہیز دا رائٹ ٹو ایجوکیشن اینڈ ہی ہیز ایکسیس اینڈ دیر از ٹرین ٹیچرس جی ان پاکستان دے ہیو دا رائٹ ٹو ایجوکیشن لیکن ایکسیس نہیں ہے ایکسیس نہیں ہے اور ٹرین ٹیچرس نہیں ہے سو واٹ ہیپنس یو سی وین یو اف اف وی لک ایٹ دا ڈیف کمیونٹی ناٹ ایز اے ڈسبلٹی گروپ لیکن اے مائنورٹی کلچر دیٹ اسپیکس اے ڈفرینٹ لینگویج کیونکہ اس کا لینگویج اس کا سائن لینگویج ہے اینڈ سائن لینگویج از ناٹ یونیورسل ایوری کنٹری ہیز دیر اون سائن لینگویج انٹرسٹنگ جی سو ان پاکستان اٹس کال پاکستان سائن لینگویج اور پی ایس ایل پاکستانی سائن لینگویج یا ان امیرکا اٹس امیرکن سائن لینگویج ہیئر ان یو کے اٹس کال برٹش سائن لینگویج بی ایس ایل اوکے اگر ایک بچہ جو پاکستان کا ایک ڈیف بچہ جو ہے یا ایک ایک ڈیف پرسن جو ہے وہ یہاں کے ایک برٹش ڈیف سے کمیونیکیٹ کر رہا ہو سو اٹ ووڈ بی ویری ڈیفیکلٹ فار بوتھ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اور دے ووڈ بی سم آئی بین ٹو کانفرنسز ویئر دیر کامن سینس آئی بین ٹو کانفرنسز ویئر دیر از ڈیف پیپل فرام مینی کنٹریز جی اینڈ یس اٹس ڈفرنٹ لیکن دے دے مینیج ٹو کنیکٹ اٹس اٹس کائنڈ آف لائک ایف یو آر اسپیکنگ پنجابی اینڈ سم ون اسپیکنگ اردو تھوڑا سا یو نو دیر از سم تھنگ دیر یو کلک آن یو نو سو بٹ بیک ٹو دا پرابلم وتھ دا پاکستان از دیر آر نو not many trained teachers they don't know mm. first of all they don't know sign language mm. second they don't know the teaching methodology mm. they, there's no government training programs mm. or there are but they're very limited and they don't really have good you know results mm. so what we had to do was train our own teachers and for the first teachers i picked were brothers and sister if they were hearing there are brothers and sisters Say. or children of deaf people mm. who mm. already knew some sign language mm. and we also hired 
some very high achieving deaf uh, persons to be teachers. Mm. So, because they're fantastic instructors. And as our schools grew, we made this a standard that we needed to have not just hearing teachers, but deaf teachers. Mm. So I'm proud to say, now in our six schools, we have 130 teachers, mm. and 50% are deaf themselves. Mm. Now, this whole process is very interesting. And what I realize is that, actually, this awareness that you have in your और हमारे एक कल्चर के अंदर जो चीज़ मौजूद होती है उसमें एक बहुत एक बहुत बड़ी अवेयरनेस जो है उसकी ज़रूरत है ख़ास तौर पे हम वो नाजरीन के जिनका ताल्लुक है बैक होम किसी विलेज से किसी गांव से किसी रूरल एरिया से कि जो डेफ चिल्ड्रन होते हैं ये आपकी फैमिली के ऊपर बर्डन नहीं है बल्कि इनके अंदर बहुत सारे स्किल सेट मौजूद हैं ठीक है और सिर्फ उसका एक स्टाइल उसकी जो प्रेजेंट करने का उसको उभारने का जो स्टाइल है वो थोड़ा सा एक डिफरेंट होता है एक डिफरेंट जो है वो स्किल सेट उसको चाहिए होता है तो अगर ये एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये अवेयरनेस हम कम्युनिटी को दें खासतौर पर बैक होम जो हमारे अपने गिरद नवा के अंदर जो इस तरीके के लोग मौजूद होते हैं तो मेरे ख्याल वहाँ से ये जो ट्रेनिंग का काम है ये जो एक चेंज का जो काम है वहाँ से स्टार्ट हो जाता है there's a very sort of old mindset you got, yeah. not just in Pakistan, in the, all mm. the subcontinent, you know, where people feel if their child is handicapped or mm. deaf, mm. oh yeah, you know, side pay of gay, yeah. you know, they're embarrassed, mm. they mm. think they can't do anything, mm. oh, why mm. should I send them to school? Mm. Or they don't let them go to school, they keep them to work mm. on, the, uh, mm. on the village, on the mm. fields. So we have to create that awareness and help mm. people to understand that mm. they can do well. Just with education, sub cheese ho sakte. Sub cheese. And so okay. now our students, mm. they sit, our students at 9th and 10th class sit for the government board exams. Mm. And they all pass mm. with A's and B's. A's and B's. So mm. the results are hai. there. Skills mojood, talent mojood hota hai unke andar. And mm. in addition, in addition to academic, we're also giving them skills training. Mm. So they're learning art, sewing, tailoring. IT skills, mm. we're teaching computer coding, because this is a lot of business. Hota. Yeah. They can get jobs. Mm. We're, we teach pottery. Mm. We teach culinary arts. Mm. So on a daily basis, on, in all of our schools, these children are very poor, mm. so they can't bring food for lunch. Yeah. So we give all of our children a hot lunch every day. Mm. But instead of just giving them lunch, we teach them how to make the lunch. Say. So this is culinary arts training. Mm. Hota. Mm. And we teach them uh, to make the menu, the budget, the mm. hygiene, how to cook it, then mm. they serve their fellow students. Mm. So, this is hotel service training. So, this is on a daily basis. Ke upar unki changes are changing. Yes, hard jo, class. Mm. Uh, change, change, change. That's the change. Hoti hai. Hai. Nazreen, it's a very interesting thing. And we continue to do it. And see, what kind of life change is. What kind of life is. It's only our mindset. It's a little change. It's a little change. It's a little improve. It's a little change. It's a little expand. It's a little change. के माशरे में आ, कोई भी अगर एक फ़र्द मौजूद है कोई रिसोर्स मौजूद है तो वो यूज़लेस नहीं है उसको किस तरीके से यूज़फुल बनाया जा सकता है एक थोड़ा सा एक अपने अंदर जो एक आ, जो सोचने का अंदाज़ है ना देखने का जो अंदाज़ है उसको चेंज करने की ज़रूरत होती है इस शह इस गुफ्तु को जारी रखेंगे छोटा सा एक ब्रेक लेते हैं ब्रेक के बाद दोबारा आपकी खिदमत में हाजिर होंगे हमारे साथ रहिएगा السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ناظرین بریک پہ جانے سے پہلے ہم بات چیت کر رہے تھے فیملی ایجوکیشن سروس فاؤنڈیشن پاکستان کی ایک بہت منفرد آرگنائزیشن ہے اور اس کے سی او فاؤنڈر ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں ریچرڈ گیری اور بہت دلچسپ بات چیت ہم کر رہے تھے اور اس میں ہم نے جہاں پر بات چیت کی ان کے پروگرام کے حوالے سے اسی طریقے سے ہم بات چیت کر رہے تھے کہ یہ جو بچے ہوتے ہیں جب اسکول کے اس پروسیس سے گزرتے ہیں اور ٹریننگ لے کر باہر آ رہے ہوتے ہیں تو کس طریقے سے وہ معاشرے میں کیا کردار ادا کرتے ہیں تو یہ جو امپلائمنٹ کی جب بات آتی ہے کہ ایک بچہ ہے جس کو جو اسکول نہیں جاتا تھا اس کو اسکول کے اندر لے کر آ گئے اور اب اس نے ایک اپنی لائف کا جو ایک اپنا جو ایج ہے جو چائلڈ ہوڈ ہے وہ وہاں اسپینڈ کیا اب اس کے بعد وہ ایجوکیشن کے اندر فردر آگے بڑھا تو وہ پھر امپلائمنٹ کے اندر کس طریقے سے آئے گا اور اس کے لیے آپ 
आपका क्या मतलब प्रोग्राम क्या है हाँ जी जी क्योंकि ओके व्हाट इज द गोल ऑफ एजुकेशन अल्टीमेटली एंड स्पेशली फॉर दीज चिल्ड्रन इज दे नीड टू बी एबल टू बी सेल्फ रिलायंट दे नीड टू अर्न लिविंग दे वॉन्ट टू गेट मैरिड दे वॉन्ट टू है you know there's this huge uh community of deaf people in mm. pakistan that instead mm. of being a burden on their families mm. or a burden on the state can become independent and be and a useful and be useful members of society for, for the society yes because mm. education is the key mm. to that mm. so one of our you know bara hum maqsad hamara hai mm. is that we ultimately help these young people gain mm. employment mm. um and that comes from two places one we have of course our students that come up every year and ultimately mm. graduate but then there's a lot of older young deaf adults they never went to school but they need to find a job so mm. what we do is uh for them mm. we stay open in the afternoon like school is 8:30 to 1:30 same and the children go home mm. then we are open from 2 to 6 o'clock mm. and young adults who are 16 years and older mm. up to 30 35 doesn't mm. matter can mm. come mm. we give them basic literacy training Mm. uh math skills computer mm. skills mm. in a short like 6 month program and help them try to find a job say so in just the last few years alone we've gotten over 600 jobs for young deaf people to wo kahan kis so kis tarike ke idare unko jo na wo jagah dete for example we have a partnership with KFC restaurant okay you know KFC are high end in pakistan not low end right ji 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 bilkul aise hai bilkul aise hai so in 2007 we opened the first one in gulshan ekpal and this is mean when i say deaf run mm. means the when you walk in the cashier is deaf theek hai the cooks are deaf theek hai the waiters are deaf mm. there's a hearing manager on the floor though Thik. but when you go up to order your chicken mm. you're the one who's handicapped because you don't know sign language say the word us right so <laughs> it turn, the tables are turned <laughs> the tables are turned so what yeah. we did we made visual menus so pick we put pictures of all the menus so mm. when you're trying to order and he's like ye kya batai then you can point <laughs> <laughs> or you can write say and it works really well mm. so from that first restaurant this has been a very successful project now there's seven mm. deaf run kfc restaurants there's three in karachi mm. Mm. two in lahore one in pindi where's the seven three in lahore So um this is employing Achai, over the KFC employment or uske alawa aur kahan ho sakta hai This is mm. employing over 100 mm. deaf young people 100 deaf GG mm. Then we have young people working at a DHL courier TCS say mm. doing data entry mm. uh, mm. uh we have working at UBL bank or mm. Fala bank mm. um Allied Caterpillar doing generator mm, servicing. Mm, mm, well, mm. the noise doesn't mm. bother them. Mm. Say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the positive side, right? Positive side, yes. Um uh, hotel industry, uh, we have some working at the uh, uh Moven Pick Hotel, uh, uh PC Hotel. Uh, so, and then we started a you know the valet parking that you uh, have at the uh shopping mall like G-G-G-G. at the Dolman G-G. Mall and uh, Port Grand and Atrium. Uh, A lot of those young people are deaf. Mm. We made a partnership with the owner and he's mm. hired deaf people. So this creates awareness. Mm. It says sab cheez ho sakte. Mm. And this is our motto. Mm. We say that deaf people can do anything mm. except here. Say. So then mm. everything is possible, yeah. Mm. And sometimes we feel ke jo um ek jo normal person hai na उसके अंदर जो जो स्किल्स हैं अगर किसी एक के अंदर कोई एक स्किल कम होती है तो उसके अंदर कुछ स्किल्स जो हैं वो एडिशनल हो जाती हैं वो अगर वो कोई सुन नहीं रहा है तो वो उसकी कुछ है, कुछ और जो स्किल्स हैं नाजिन बहुत दिलचस्प बातचीत हो रही है और इस बातचीत के बाद मैं ये महसूस करता हूँ कि ये जो प्रोजेक्ट्स होते हैं जो लाइफ चेंजिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स होते हैं इनके अंदर कभी कुछ अपना टाइम जो है ना वो स्पेंड करने की ज़रूरत होती है और आप उसके बाद जो फील करते हैं वो बहुत ही एक डिफरेंट और यूनिक एक्सपीरियंस होता है जिस तरीके से अभी इन्होंने मतलब बताया कि ये वो कैफ केफसीज के जो रन हो रहे हैं सिर्फ डेफ चिल्ड्रन और डेफ जो पीपल हैं वो इसको रन कर रहे हैं तो उसको अगर कभी विजिट करें और विजिट करके मेरा ख्याल एक बिल्कुल एक यूनिक एक्सपीरियंस होगा uh, आपकी लाइफ का uh, so मैंने तो अब तक नहीं किया और अब जो बातचीत हुई है <laughs> रिचर्ड के बाद मैं ये ज़रूर एम करता हूँ कि उसको uh, ज़रूर विजिट करूँ चिकन टेस्ट बिल्कुल यकीनी सी बात है अच्छा रिचर्ड जो टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग के हवाले से कुछ हमने मुख्तसर सी बातचीत की है ना इस मॉल हमारी एक टॉक हुई टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग 
there is a big challenge to uh, get the trained teacher especially जी जी. to uh, handle the children and uh, you know the deaf children they require some extra uh, skills and magar jo parents hain are parents hain un parents ko kyunki wo parents jo hain unka ek apna especially agar wo koi uh, urban society mein nahi hai rural society ke andar hai so don't you feel that it's also um, a project itself well thank you for asking because to we create awareness. we we've done this mm. now in each one of our schools and keep in mind this like hyderabad nawab shah sakkar these rural schools mm. but in every one of our schools we have a parent training program same and every second saturday so two saturdays a month mm. we pick up the parents in our vans mm. bring them in on saturday mm. for 3 hours mm. they have a sign language training class mm. they have a class about how to ha- work with their children we give mm. them a uh, lunch mm. and uh, this has been very successful mm. in each location we have an average of 75 to 100 parents coming and Not sure. only and interesting you know almost all of these families are from very low income low education backgrounds mm. so as a additional Uh, mm. effect of learning sign language they're also learning to read and write mm. Mm. and i so much such beautiful reactions i i've had mothers just crying saying thank mm. you so much mm. i finally can communicate with my child mm. can you think that's such a, a, a an amazing amazing thing, feeling yeah. you know amazing in, in inner satisfaction so that makes that's me very happy yeah. to see that and mm. i'm a parent of a mm. deaf child mm. i know what that feels like yeah. you know and so that was when we started this program that was my whole my wife and i our whole goal was to help parents mm. not feel separated from their children mm. and not like oh my god what can i do this is some punishment from god mm. no no it's a blessing mm. you just it's have to blessing. work mm. with it and mm. make it work you know mm. yeah to ye hai nazreen dekhen ye bahut mukhtalif si baat cheet hai aur ek mukhtalif experience hai to jis tarike se maine aap se baat ki hai wohi baat cheet hum kar rahe hain aur isi ko continue kiye hue hain Uh, एक और जो uh, जिसको हम कहें ना कि हम जब पाकिस्तान ख़ास तौर पर उसके बारे में जो न्यूज़ देख रहे होते हैं पढ़ रहे होते हैं सुन रहे होते हैं टेलीविजन के ऊपर पाकिस्तानी जो मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया चैनल्स हैं न्यूज़ चैनल्स हैं उसके ऊपर जो हमें मुसलसल जो न्यूज़ मिल रही होती हैं वो नेगेटिव होती हैं आमतौर पर ठीक है और वो न्यूज़ बनती वही है कि जो एक नेगेटिव जो साइड होती है या कहीं वहाँ किलिंग हो गई वो मर्डर हो गया वहाँ ये हुआ वहाँ वो हुआ तो मगर उसके साथ साथ जो पाकिस्तान की अपनी बहुत सारी एक पॉजिटिव जो डेवलपमेंट है वो कभी कभार न्यूज़ नहीं बन पाती है तो रिचर्ड मैं आपसे यही जानना चाहूँगा कि आपने ये प्रोजेक्ट शुरू किया स्टार्ट किया वहाँ पर इस तरीके के और भी डिफरेंट इदारे मौजूद होंगे मगर चूँकि आपका एक बैकग्राउंड एक डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड है एक बिल्कुल एक डेवलप वर्ल्ड से एक चैलेंजिंग वर्ल्ड के अंदर जाना और वहाँ जाकर इस कस्म के काम को जो जिस इन्वायरमेंट के अंदर आप मौजूद हैं पाकिस्तान में कराची में हैदराबाद में लाहौर में टंडोला यार में वो इन्वायरमेंट आपसे कितनी सपोर्टिव है उस उसमें आपने कितना फील किया कि हाँ ये कि इसकी वर्थ है कि मैं यहाँ पर अपना टाइम जो है ना वो स्पेंड करूँ वेल एक्चुअली वन वी स्टार्ट दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी हैड वेरी लिटल वी हैड नो फंड नो रिसोर्स बट यू नो वी कट सम डोनेशन फ्राम द लोकल कम्यूनिटी एंड थिंग्स वुड ग्रो but our mindset was we were you know most charities mm. that work in the developing world wherever that is they depend on foreign assistance mm. right mm. we said if what we're doing mm. is positive and is worthwhile the local community will support it Take and i am happy to say after all these years mm. every year 85% of our support comes right from the pakistani community subhanallah Great. We get some small grants from mm. US, from mm. UK. Mm. The other day, I had some meetings with Diffid. I was mm. looking to see mm. if maybe they could do. But the brunt of our support mm. comes right from the Pakistani business community, mm. individuals, families, mm. trust. You know, and they're very generous. Pakistanis mm. are, are very supportive in that regard. देखें ये 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 एक न्यूज़ है ये आपके लिए ये न्यूज़ चैनल नहीं है ना ही कोई न्यूज़ का प्रोग्राम है भाई सर वेरी गुड न्यूज़ ये ये बहुत एक अच्छी न्यूज़ है कि 85 परसेंट इनकी जो फंडिंग है वो पाकिस्तान के अंदर वहीं लोकल जो कम्युनिटी है उसी लोकल कम्युनिटी की तरफ से ये जो प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिस प्रोजेक्ट्स को इस तरीके से ये रन करें अच्छा कुछ एक फिगर होगी कोई स्टेटिस्टिक्स होगी कि जब आपने काम शुरू किया जब से लेके अब तक 
कितने लोग हाउ मेनी पीपल वुड माइट हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस एंड मे बिकम यू नो अ यूजफुल एंड अ यूजफुल पर्सन ऑफ द सोसाइटी वो रफली अबाउट फाइव थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स हैव पास थ्रू आर डेफ रीच प्रोग्राम फाइव थाउजेंड ऊपर नीचे यू नो दिस जी 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 बट नाउ एंड दिस इज मे बी आई कुड टॉक अबाउट दिस नाउ व्हाट वी वांटेड टू डू Okay, we have these six schools, and mm. and it's a lot of responsibility. Mm. It's not easy to keep them running, and every year get more children. Mm. And this is why I'm losing my hair. You see, <laughs> 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 but <laughs> but I just have to trust in God. Uh, uh-huh. But this is a drop in the bucket if you look at the whole country and the yeah. over one million children. Mm. How are we going to reach them? Mm. And even if. even if you could there's not enough the, the, a lot of those children don't even live close to any kind of school mm. so we've been thinking how can we work to capacitate teachers mm. to capacitate families and their deaf children mm. and the answer is to give them learning resources mm. in their native language mm. so what Say. we've been working on mm. over the past few years mm. is developing sign language learning resources mm. that are digital in content mm. that could easily be accessed on a s- uh, smartphone ji yeah. or a computer mm. so we in 2014 we developed the first ever pakistan sign language online dictionary 2014 2014 mm. now keep in mind sign language mm. in uk usa mm. is very developed there's mm. books there's programs mm. you can study in university mm. you know resources in pakistan kuch nahi yeah. there was two or three books over the last 25 mm. years upar niche 500 signs ke andar hai but they're not in print mm. you can't find them so here we we desperately wanted some resources that we could provide the families mm. with so when we developed this dictionary mm. it's went we put it online it's got 7000 words in it Okay. It started with 5000 and over the last year we added 2000 new words. New words. Like medical okay. terminology, banking terminology, mm. words that people need to know when they go to a doctor, go mm. to a bank, mm. you know, go to a, a lawyer. Mm. Um and this is online, it's free of cost mm. for the whole country mm. and everybody in Pakistan now is using that who's working with deaf children. Mm. And the website is simple psl.org.pk. Mm. PSL dot org dot pk just like mm. the cricket team <laughs> <laughs> we capitalized on that <laughs> or maybe they stole it from us I'm not sure <laughs> PSL uh, yeah <laughs> that could be because uh, you started in 2014 and PSL started the Pakistan Super League started in uh, I think last year yeah sec- exactly year. so I, I, I year. when okay. I saw them I said hey Kewa <laughs> you stole it <laughs> Daku <laughs> so, um, so yeah. but this has been a very innovative uh, way to provide resources to families and so now what we're now working on is creating not uh, just a di- the dictionary is done but now we are making stories in sign language mm. because keep in mind do you have children Ibrahim ji 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 how do they learn to read because you tell them stories mm. from an early age yeah. by the time they're 3 4 5 they're, they're reading those stories mm. but deaf children mm. 90% of deaf children are born to hearing parents mm. and those parents don't know how to sign mm. they don't know what to do they mm. it takes them 5 or 6 years to think mm. about what it is mm. right and by that time it's almost too late mm. so we've developed mm. stories in sign language mm. that deaf children can watch mm. and learn from so that's on that website as well acha jo vocational training jo hai usme kya kya vocational training ke jo courses hote hain wo kya matlab kaun se courses padhaye jo unko ja rahe hote hain kyunki It's so important to have this facet. In addition to their academics, each one of our students from the time they're 10 years old mm. go through a series of uh, vocational skills training. And this we do basic sewing, say, sí. embroidery, mm. tailoring, mm. fine arts mm. and uh so uh, like fashion design, ji. Yeah. Pottery, mm. cooking, mm. and IT skills. Say. So all of our students do all those things and mm. see what they're good at and then as they mm. get older every year they can focus more on that. Mm. So by the time they are finished school not only have they've got an education but they've got a skill. Mm. Kyunki the reality in Pakistan is just having an education doesn't provide you yeah. a job. You know, and especially mm. for think mm. of that. 
it's hard enough for a mainstream child. Mm. Then you're a deaf child. Mm. And what if you're a deaf girl? Mm. Well, three strikes, right? Bilkul aisa hi. Bohut mushkil. Bohut mushkil. So mm. these girls and boys have a skill set. Mm. We can get them jobs and or maybe the families don't want the girls to work but they can work in home. Mm. Acha ye jo Pakistan ke andar jo different institutes hain, different cities ke andar जो इसी डोमेन के अंदर काम कर रहे हैं जो मतलब स्पेशल चिल्ड्रन को डील कर रहे होते हैं उनके साथ कोई एक किस तरीके का कोई कोई कंसोर्टियम टाइप का कोई ऐसा कोई एक है कोई आपका प्लान या कुछ बना है इस तरीके का अब जैसे आपने साइन लैंग्वेज की बात की पाकिस्तान साइन लैंग्वेज की कि वो उसको एडोप्ट करें और मतलब जहाँ जहाँ ये कुछ काम हो रहा है वो एक जो आपकी जो जो कुछ रिसर्च है जो डेवलपमेंट है उस डेवलपमेंट से वो फायदा उठा सकें फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डोंट रियली लाइक दिस टर्म स्पेशल चिल्ड्रन सो मच आई मीन आई नो द गवर्नमेंट यूज दिस स्पेशल एजुकेशन बट वेन यू एक्चुअली ब्रेक इट डाउन एंड द गवर्नमेंट डज दिस देव दिस स्पेशल एजुकेशन सेंटर्स यू डू दिस इन पंजाब इन सिंध सब जगह where they put all the children together that you know either blind and deaf and intellectually challenged and mm. you know with down syndrome and the teachers don't know what to do and how to do mm. it it's not a good model mm. because as i said deaf children aren't really so much disabled they just need training in their own language mm. that's a little different than having mm. a physical or uh, intellectual disability mm. so but we have worked with other schools that are working with deaf children mm. and trying to help get them involved and you know so we can have more of a voice mm. because at the end of the day and i don't like to talk about government but mm. it's the government's responsibility, it's responsibility at the, mm. to take care of things and at least mm. provide resources and i mm. think this is the solution and you can't depend only on the government because mm. obviously they can only do so much mm. and i think in a place like pakistan and i'm sure it's similar to other countries that you reach out mm. to I think this solution is to have this private public partnership mm. where the government is invested at least with some funding. Mm. You have a small organization like ourselves but we mm. have the expertise mm. and then we also engage with other public partners and mm. together we can really make a difference. So ye ek बिल्कुल है बिल्कुल ऐसा ही है नाजिन जो इन फील्ड के अंदर जो काम कर रहे होते हैं फिलेंथ्रॉफिक जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होती हैं और उनका एक अपना पूरा एक 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 लाइफ होती है उनकी एक अचीवमेंट होती है सर्विसेज वो दे रहे होते हैं तो बहुत सारे मूवमेंट इस तरीके के मूवमेंट आए होते हैं बहुत सारे लम्हे बहुत सारा टाइम ऐसा उनका गुजरा होता है कि कुछ मेमोरीज जो है उनके अपने जहन के अंदर होती हैं तो इसी तरीके की कुछ बातचीत अब हम उसकी तरफ आगे बढ़ेंगे कुछ ऐसे इवेंट्स कोई ऐसी स्टोरीज जो आपको याद रही हो और आप अभी भी कुछ शेयर करना चाहते हो नाजरीन के साथ में व्यूअर्स के साथ कोई ऐसी स्टोरीज के जिसने आपको कहा हो कि यस वी आर डूइंग समथिंग यू नो रियली जिससे आपको कोई इनसाइट सेटिसफेक्शन जो है वो फील हुई हो तो वो कुछ ऐसी स्टोरीज जो है ना मैं चाहूँगा कि कोई ऐसे इवेंट्स जो है ना वो आप शेयर करें Uh, uh, this just is recently uh, okay 8 years ago mm. a mother came to us mm. she herself was deaf okay and she had at that time she had two deaf children she said mirbani i have no money but can you please teach my children mm. said yes yeah fine just bring them no problem mm. so she would bring her children every day and because she was poor herself she couldn't come and go she sat there i said Don't just sit there you, you can help you volunteer you know mm. and she would help in the classroom and she was quite a good teacher mm. so i uh, but then uh, she was actually pregnant uh, mm. with her third child so she mm. took a break but her two boys were coming then when after she had her baby she came back i said look we're going to hire you full time as a teacher now because you're very gifted mm. now this woman her name is Rafat i said she's in charge mm. of our KG department. Mm. Since that time she's also had another child. She's got four deaf sons. Mm. All who go to our school See. free of cost. Mm. She's teaching at our school now earning a salary that's mm. taking care of her family. Mm. Her 16-year-old deaf son mm. has just He's an amazing painter. Like who would have ever known this because they come from this Kachi Abadi area, mm. you know. Mm. He would have never had a chance to mm. paint but it he just won an award uh for the Toyota art contest in Karachi mm. amongst the whole city he won mm. an award beautiful mm. photo painting he did but the end of the story is not quite yet 
So I have some uh, relationship with what's called the American School for the Deaf. It's the first and oldest school in America for deaf students. Achha. It's beautiful. It's mm. like on 50 acres of land, state mm. of the art, everything. Mm. The president of that school visited our school in Karachi. And he was so impressed yeah. with what he saw. He said, with such little resources, you've just mm. done such an amazing job. Your students are so bright. Mm. He says, I want you to pick two students and I will give them a full scholarship to come to America mm. for five years. Mm. And I will train them. They can come back here and mm. help you lead your project. Wow. So one of the boys who mm. got that scholarship was her son, Usman. His name, Achha, the painter. Wo hai. G -G -G. Okay. Mm. So their visas are in process right now. And mm. inshallah, September mm. 1st, they will mm. go to mm. the American School for the Deaf mm. and be there for five year training. Isn't mm. that an amazing scholarship? Mm. And uh, this is the first time this ever happened to Pakistan for mm. a deaf child, right? Mm. So I, I just such a beautiful story and the mother is so happy. Mm. Their whole lives have changed, you mm. know? So that's just one story. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds mm. and hundreds of stories, mm. but mm. Uh, uh, that's a very recent one, so. بالکل یقینی سی بات ہے کہ جس وقت آپ یہ دیکھ رہے ہوتے ہیں کہ آپ کی اتنی جو جو ایفرٹس ہیں نا وہ کسی رائٹ ڈائریکشن کے اندر کی گئی ہیں اور وہ کوئی چینج لے کے آ رہی ہیں لوگوں کی زندگی کے اندر تبدیلیاں لے کے آ رہی ہیں تو وہ ایک بہت خوشی کا لمحہ ہوتا ہے اور اس کو انسان فیل بھی کرتا ہے سیلیبریٹ بھی کرتا ہے اور اس سے جو فیلنگز آ رہی ہوتی ہیں میرے خیال ہے وہ صرف ہم جب اس سے گزر رہے ہوتے ہیں اسی وقت محسوس کر رہے ہوتے ہیں تھوڑا سا ایک آپ کا جو اپنا نیٹ ورک ہے اس فاؤنڈیشن کا اس نیٹ ورک کے بارے میں بتائیں کہ جو گرو کر چکا ہے کتنے لوگ اس کے اندر اب موجود ہیں ہاؤ اینی پیپل آر ورکنگ فار ان ٹرم آف ٹیچنگ نان ٹیچنگ فیکلٹی اسٹاف اوپر نیچے اینڈ اباؤٹ دیم اباؤٹ ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ففٹی امپلائیز ٹو ہنڈریڈ فیفٹی اور اس میں سے پاکستانی پاکستانی ان میں سے ڈیف کتنے ہیں اور جو ریمیننگ ہیں وہ کتنے The teachers, uh, we have 130 teachers and half of them are deaf. Same. So yeah, and some of our school management principals and admin officers are also deaf. Mm. The rest are like drivers mm. and custodians. Mm. And they're not so much deaf because mm. especially the drivers. Yeah. Um, and this is not just, of course, in Karachi, but in all these rural mm. areas as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay, this is all the time you have spent, 30 years, about in Pakistan. پاکستان کا آگے فیوچر کس طریقے سے دیکھتے ہیں کیونکہ ہم یہ جو میں ہوں جو ہمارے جو ناظرین ہیں نا جو ویورز ہیں ٹھیک ہے الیکشنز آئیں گے وہ الیکشن سے ہٹتے ہوئے نہیں الیکشن سے ہٹتے ہوئے جو آپ جو سوسائٹی کو دیکھتے ہیں اور اس کے اندر جو اسکلز اور جو ٹیلنٹ آپ فیل کرتے ہیں تو وہ کیا محسوس کرتے ہیں کہ وہ دنیا کے کسی اور خطے سے کوئی کم ہے یا کیسا ہے فرسٹ آف آل آئی ہیو الاٹ آف فیتھ ان پاکستان Uh, Pakistanis are are very gifted. They're talented. You see, Pakistanis they come abroad. Mm. They run TV channels, <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> they own companies. They work <laughs> in the public service. They mm. do an amazing job. So the talent is there. Mm. the 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 real challenge is to develop the leadership mm. to engage that talent mm. and you know to build a, a societal structure that mm. rewards. Mm good work and, mm. and efforts. And, mm. you know, this is a challenge, obviously. Mm. They can, Pakistanis are also very resilient. Mm. You know, you think of all the problems and the challenges, but it keeps going, mm. you know? And, and, you know, you see what happens like uh, when the earthquake came, 2000, mm. Mm. Oh, everybody Sorry. ran mm. and supported that, you know? Mm. I thought that doesn't happen in most countries. Mm. You know, Pakistanis are very, you know, considerate, they mm. have that heart. And I, I think that in itself shows you there's lots of potential for the lots future. Lots of potential there. GD. Uh, Richard, it was a very interesting thing. And it was a very uh, different thing for us today. Yes, GD. It was a very different uh, discussion. It was a very different field. It was a very unique field. مگر یہ کہ ایک آپ کو خود ایک خوشی ہوتی ہے اس ایک جو پیشن ہے اس کے اندر کام کرنے میں تو میرا خیال ہے کہ ایسے بہت سارے لوگ جو ہیں نا وہ کمیونٹی کے اندر ہونے چاہیے اور ہیں موجود کبھی ان کو پلیٹ فارم ملتا ہے کسی کو پلیٹ فارم نہیں مل پاتا ہے تو آپ کا بہت بہت شکریہ 
एंड uh, बहुत मैं आपको uh, जो आप काम कर रहे हैं पाकिस्तान के लिए उस कंट्री के लिए उसके ख़ास तौर पे ये जो कम्युनिटी है बिल्कुल एक डेफ uh, कम्युनिटी जो है एक जिसको कहना चाहिए जिसके पास रिसोर्स भी नहीं जिसके पास अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ मौजूद नहीं है उसके लिए काम करना एक मेरे ख्याल एक बहुत एक अच्छा एक आपका एक जज्बा है और एक काबिल तहसीन तो बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू वेरी मच and any one of your viewers that would like to visit i'd be <laughs> more than happy to to <laughs> show them around and they're more than welcome uh, richard you know? abhi jab hamare office ke andar aaye richard jab hamare office ke andar aaye to maine pucha ki bhai chai coffee mein se kya aap lenge to unhone kaha doodh patti chai jo hai wo peeni hai to maine kaha doodh patti chai jo hai ye ek pakistani jo hai wo jo real pakistani hai wohi uski jo hai wo talab kar sakta hai to aap yakini taur pe pure pakistani hai to nazreen richard ka bahut bahut shukriya wo yahan पर हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं और आपका भी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया प्रोग्राम आपने देखा है और जिस तरीके से इन्होंने ये दावत दी है तो आप यकीनी तौर पर जिस तरीके से मैंने पहले भी कहा है कि इस तरीके के इंस्टीट्यूट इस तरीके के जो प्लेसेस होते हैं उनको जाकर विजिट करना चाहिए कभी कभार ऐसा होता है कि छोटी छोटी जो चीज़ें होती हैं स्मॉल इवेंट्स होते हैं वो आपकी मेमोरी के अंदर रह जाते हैं और वो आपकी अपनी लाइफ को जो है ना वो चेंज कर देते हैं जो देखने का एंगल होता है परस्पेक्टिव होता है वो हमारा इंटायरली चेंज हो जाता है टोटली थ्री डिग्री जो है वो हम चेंज कर जाते हैं कभी कभार तो ज़रूर इस किस्म की जो अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ उनको अवेल करना चाहिए डेफ रीच डॉट कॉम ये वेबसाइट है इसके ऊपर जाकर आप इनका जो सारा वर्क है उसको देख सकते हैं और अगर कॉन्टेक्ट करना हो तो कॉन्टेक्ट भी इन शाला उसके ऊपर मौजूद होगा रिचर्ड बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप यहाँ पर आए और जी नाजीन अपना फीडबैक आप ज़रूर दे सकते हैं इस प्रोग्राम के बारे में और इख्ताम पर मैं यही कहूँगा कि पाकिस्तान में बहुत सारी ऐसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बहुत सारे अच्छे लोग मौजूद हैं जो बहुत अच्छा पॉजिटिव काम कर रहे हैं ज़रूरत होती है कि उस प्लेटफॉर्म को और उसके बाद उसकी रिकगनाइज़ करने को रिकगनीशन करने को और उसको अप्रीशिएट करने की तो इन इस तरीके के और प्रोग्राम जो है वो आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे इस प्रोग्राम के अख्ताम पर अपने मेज़बान इब्राहिम जमाली को इजाज़त दीजिए अपना बहुत ख्याल रखिएगा असलकम वरम वर्क